This is Diana. Top 4 Myths About Mindfulness to Stop Believing Today Since mindfulness is becoming more popular, there are a lot of misconceptions and myths about mindfulness. As a result, these myths discourage people from trying mindfulness, despite the fact that it would help them. It is important to debunk these myths so you can practice mindfulness in a way that is truthful and helpful. Here are the top four myths about mindfulness to stop believing today. 1. Mindfulness is passive. Many people assume that mindfulness is a passive experience, but this is completely untrue. The point of mindfulness is to know how to better respond as opposed to react in stressful, harmful, or chaotic situations. For this reason, mindfulness is active, not passive. More so, mindfulness practices are incredibly active in that they take a lot of work. Mindfulness is not something that comes naturally to most people. As a result, practicing mindfulness takes a lot of time, energy, and patience. If you think that mindfulness is a passive experience, then you are not doing it right and you're wasting your time. To get the most out of mindfulness, think of it as an active experience that helps you react better in real life. 2. Mindfulness is about being in the present all the time. Although mindfulness largely involves being present in the moment, mindfulness is not necessarily about being present all the time. If you were present all the time, we would become overwhelmed and overstimulated, causing mindfulness to be a negative experience. Sometimes, it can be very mindful to think about past situations, future goals, or nothing at all. For example, it can be helpful to think about past relationships to see if you are projecting your past insecurities on a present relationship. This is a mindful practice because it allows you to get past your distractions and really focus on what matters. For this reason, mindfulness is about cutting through the distractions. Cutting through the distractions often involves being present, but it can also involve thinking about the past, future, or nothing at all. 3. The goal of mindfulness is bliss. Many people give up on mindfulness because they think the goal is to reach a blissful state, and they give up when that state is never reached. This myth is false because you will never reach a blissful state. It doesn't exist. With that being said, mindfulness will make your life more blissful because it will help you cope with changes and enjoy life more. But it won't make your life completely blissful you will still be faced with challenges and struggles. Additionally, mindfulness is about more than bliss. It is also about learning more about yourself, your surroundings, and others. Bliss has nothing to do with those objectives. For this reason, you should think that the goal of mindfulness is to learn how to live a more well-lived life. 4. Mindfulness is the same as meditation. People often conflate mindfulness and meditation. Although mindfulness can involve meditation and meditation can involve mindfulness, they are not one and the same. Formal meditation is a completely different category of its own. So if you're looking for mindfulness techniques, make sure that you use the word mindfulness, not meditation. If you look for meditation techniques, you will get different outcomes. Final thoughts. After reviewing these myths, I hope that you better understand what mindfulness is. Once you push back these myths, you are more likely to benefit from your mindfulness training and improve your life. 